Hello. In this presentation, I am going to demonstrate how to configure and give loyalty points that are three times that of the transaction value to members in LS retail. So for example, if there is a sports store and they want to uh, launch a new product line and need to promote those goods so to, to their members so they can offer additional points to the members by doing so. This is where you can use and configure membership additional membership points. The example here assumes that there is a head office database and a store database. We have a distributed environment and uh, the memberships are centralized, which means any functions related to the membership, like searching up a particular member or creating a new member would be done from the POS station. And that would connect to the head office database using a web service. Ultimately, uh, any processing would be done. And uh, the goal would be that the membership uh, points and the membership data would be centralized and available in the head office database for review. So this screenshot here just depicts that the member account and the related data for points. As part of this walkthrough, what we are going to see is that we will be selling an item to a member from the POS in the store database. And then we'll review how the transaction looks like the associated entries and ultimately we will see if how these membership points are processed and reflected in the head office database to start with this first i'll i have used a total discount offer for creating this membership configuring this additional membership points so what's a total discount offer so total discount offer is when you want to have some discount or maybe loyalty points at the total value of a transaction so that's where you use a total discount offer now you can use the same define configure same uh, membership points using the discount offer as well starting with the total discount offer here is where uh, i have defined the, my uh, number uh, we define the price group is where you specify uh, if it's belonging to a specific store or a group of stores in case you wanted to control that, then you have the priority here, uh, the priority like lower the number, so higher the priority. Then I've defined the validation period. So here I said it has no limit, but then it, if it's, you can define if it's for one quarter or maybe six months or as the case may be. Coming to the lines, I have defined here that the membership points should be accrued for any of the products that belong to a product group golf packs. So there, there, there are different uh, options here. You can also define it at a specific item level or maybe a, a special group or all the items. So like I have defined here all the golf bags and in case I wanted to exclude one item from this product group, it is possible to do so by adding here type as item and you can just exclude that specific item from here. Okay, so once you have your basic items uh, uh, defined here, then you need to specify which club, specific club they should apply to. So I'm just going to select the membership type as club. And of the three membership clubs, I'm saying it should go to Kronos, not to hospitality, not to the staff. So only to this uh, group, it should apply. So that's my retail group, I'm saying. And then further down, uh, the important part here is the benefits. So here in benefits, we are saying that we need to define what actually the benefits are. Maybe if you want to define a, a discount. So maybe if you have like uh, you want to offer a value of the transaction is 100 and you want to offer 10% discount. So you can define it over here as step amount 100 and discount as 10%. Maybe at a step amount of 200, you want to offer 15% discount. So you can define that over here. Now for our example here, we are going to consider this as a loyalty point and here as value type, it has got different options here. So percentage is also there and amount. These two are not relevant to loyalty points. These apply to the other options like discount. The points, the, the, the options valid here are points and factor. So for the points you would consider when like for every $1, 
you, you are spending, you want uh, to give one point. So that, that's when you consider points as an option. But here, since we are going to consider for every $1, we want to give three points to the customer. So we are selecting factor over here and in the value we are going to specify the actual, the times of uh, uh, the transaction value. This is what basically the, the offer defined and you are specifying how the loyalty points would be accrued. Now, before I start, I just wanted to show you in the head office database, this is the member that we are going to sell the items to. So if you see here on the right hand side, now th there is no points data. And after selling, we would just come and see how, how the data changes and how we, we process that. Now I'm going to go to the POS station and I'm going to ring in the item which is part of the golf product group. So this is the item which is part of the call product group and I'm just select the member here. I know the membership card number is 1210024 and I'm clicking on OK. And if you see once, you know, this member is populated here and the relevant data is also shown over here you see the the account club code and you see it's cronus and right now the balance is zero so when all this is happening just in the background i would like to show you is that i, I am logging these web requests so this is where the your web requests any uh, transaction that's when is happening it's going to reflect here so for example, like this, uh, when I'm selecting the, uh, when I selected the uh, the membership card number over here, uh, the system is actually calling this function. And if I'm just going to quickly show you what it does is that I, I specified the card number. So it passes the card number and the store number as a web request to the head office. And the second one, the second one here, which is a response actually, uh, if I'm going to show you quickly here. So, so as a response, it, it from the head office, it is going to get the entire detail, like the membership card number, you have the member account number, and you see member account number here, somewhere down, it shows the total remaining points as zero, and total sales as zero. So there are a lot of associate data, like the member contact, you have the, got, uh, you have the member attributes member club which are part of this uh, response all right so moving back to the pos client i am just going to finalize this so as you see the value over or the balance here is 20 dollars uh, i am just going and the points uh, the the offer uh, on this is that expectation would be to accrue like three times the value of this so I'm just going to finalize this by cash and click OK. Just going back to the virtual printer to see uh, the item is 20. That's good. And you see member account is there and you see it is 60 points over here now. OK, so issued points are 60. So now I go to the store transaction register here to see how this transaction looks like so just filtering on today's date and the last transaction here okay so you've got a sales entry that's fine so we this is the item which we have sold and uh, the payment entry info code entry which is fine what we are interested in is the discount benefit so there is some discount benefit here indicating that the offer the total discount offer you see is triggered which is the value type factor as value type as factor and it's the value is three so we are expecting that you know for the balance of twenty dollars the points accrued should be 60. so let's just have a look at these member points okay great so if you see the the points here accrued are 60 as we ex expected because we have defined the, the factor as three so 20 times three is 60 points so this looks good at the store database level but uh, ultimately what we are interested in is looking at the picture what's there in the head office because the, you might have uh, the the members purchasing from different stores so 
being centralized is head office going to give you the correct picture. Now, this is my head office database. Refresh this here. And you see here, you, you have 60 points. You know, it's, it's now reflecting and previously it was just zero here. Uh, just one thing here quickly I would like to show you. So when we finalize the sale there, the, the, there was this send pro member process entry web service function which was called. I'm just going to the web service log to show what happened here. So if I'm going to open this. So as you see here for this transaction, you know, the 60 points which were accrued, this is sent as a request web request to the head office and in the head office database what it has done is actually created those added those 60 points in in this this table this particular table this is a member process entry table so this is updated if i scroll to the right yes yes points in transaction so head office database reflects that uh, these points but what i am expecting is to it to reflect it over here what are the actual issued points for and reflect here there is a step here one more step here i'm just going back to the unprocessed points and clicking on update member information uh, when when by doing so it will actually reflect in the issued award points list so let's go click on this one and it says one of the one document is processed but the line is still here and it shows that the transaction header is not found so this indicates that the transaction that we did uh, in the store database that's not available in the head office for this to process. I have already defined a job here in the head office to pull the transactions from the store. So I'm just going to quickly run this. All right, so the transaction looks to be successful here and uh, I am now going back to the member process entry now this has got the error because the transaction yeah, it was not replicated now since you know we have run the job for replication this line should be deleted and the the, the data should be reflected in total issued points so i click on this total member information and it says all right great that's what uh, we were expecting ideally what in a live environment you would have a separate job for replicating the transactions i did it manually and also, this update member inf information, this, this is specific code in it, which would have a scheduled job running in the background. So both of these things would, wouldn't have to do it in a live environment, but I'm just showing in detail how uh, from a front end it, you, would, you can do this. And also like if there is any uh, issues with any of the uh, order entries here, how you can address that by referring the message column. Okay, now I'm going back to my member account that's the one i'm interested in the head office so this is my member account george martin here you see uh, i already processed this from the member point entry window and i'm just going to refresh it for the figures to be reflected here correctly after we ran the job all right excellent so now you see here the issue award points has changed to 60 and which makes the total issued points to 60 and the point balance is 60. Now you see the unprocessed points which was reflected previously after clicking this update information, it has moved to the actual issued award points. So th th this is just, and you also have the total sales here which shows uh, the, what was the total sales made for this transaction. This is just an overview of how you know how you can achieve the member points for if you wanted to pr promote some of your products, give some additional points using a uh, total discount offer. You can do it with discount offer, and there are other ways to do that. I hope this this video was helpful. And you know, if you have any feedback or if you have questions, concerns, please do feel free to call us, and we'll be happy to assist. Have a great day. Thank you. Thanks for watching this Archer Point video. If you found it helpful, make sure to check out our website and blog at www.archerpoint.com. Additionally, if you have any questions regarding our products, services, or information in this video, feel free to email us at info at archerpoint.com. Thanks.